I'm going to take out the youth from underneath in bed because he speak about the Prime Minister. I'm going to go our next youth I'm going to take him out and ask him if he apologise. Police, you know, ask him if he apologise to the Prime Minister. Sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable. Yeah. Ready to go, man. Lock and load. That's right. Blessings everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Lady Be Unstoppable. In this video, you will hear from a concerned Jamaican. Yes, you know, sometimes when we leave Jamaica, we live abroad, we still invest in the country time and effort and everything so right about now this is a concerned citizen want to shed his views regarding this scenario with Bobsy Grange and L.A. Lewis listen to what he has to say let me know your thoughts in the comment section drop a like drop a share and if you're new to this channel remember subscribe Governor General Government of Jamaica, Prime Minister, Bob the Green, it's up for you. One should shame on herself. One should really shame on herself. And what I'm easier to talk about today, me if you talk about L.A. Lewis, and how stupid you lot are, how stupid you Jamaican people are. When I say Jamaican, I mean people like Uno in a society. Where in a certain places and certain corners, yeah, worshiping other rest of people from their country. On our worship England and royalty. And royal. Me live in England, I can tell you that. And see this video where I go to send off here, nobody in England is look for me. Not this me. They never did they never go even here. Here if you want to sign to them, they not pay me no mind. But you see Uno. Uno has it in no feelings. And the same thing we do, you know. We go take out the youth from underneath in bed because he speak about the Prime Minister. And we go now our next youth also go take him out and ask him if he apologize. Police, you know, ask him if he apologize to the Prime Minister. And nobody can't talk nothing about you know. But you know me I read pan right now. And why to man about England yeah. We actually come out and Cost the Prime Minister two times. Cost the Prime Minister, him and his wife. And cost you. I will pan she enough to come out. And cost you again. Yeah? Because Uno, Uno over in a Jamaica, I worship England, I worship Queen, and worship royalty. I know no other right to protect the people, yes? They have to be protected. But when I saw the show with L.A. Lewis, and the rumors going around say, this man from up in a jungle and I asked to check him out. Remember, you know, jungle is a two side place. It's one, it's one Jamaica. But because Uno divide it, you know, use politics and divide it. Right? Uno divide it in a politics. Bob's the Green and a your territory that. You see which part of them people they want to go when they come here? Same thing, footer hypes, I support what I say. Them people they want to go to Rima, they want to go to jungle, they want most want to go to jungle and in the ghetto places. Right? We see the Queen come to Jamaica already, you know. And when they come to Jamaica, when she come to Jamaica, they have a power houses, no light. And no feel so bad. The Queen said, no, 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 it's alright, we could call it a candlelight dinner. Because she never feel no way about that. Right? So if you know have a man like L.A. Lewis you now, where he's just a comedian. You think if I over England here, L.A. Lewis is there and the Queen have a local event, some gathering some place and you have a local lunatic like L.A. You think they might throw him out? They wouldn't do it. The Queen not treat them people like that. England not treat them people like that. So why would you treat them own people like that? In our barn land where the man born and grow, this is where you come from. And you, Bob's the Green, and your territory. But you, but you go take it over now because of Queen. Because of royal people. Why you do that? I know your territory, you know. Make you not go to the election and go look vote. No, I know your territory, that. Nobody knows soon what they say, you know. A Rastafari, the people in worship, you know. Bob Marley type of thing, right? And him, you should put on the money, right? Now, you don't hate Rasta so much, but you don't use it for you don't cover and for you not go foreign. People who love reggae music talk about Bob Marley. And you don't like Rasta. See, you don't trim the Rasta girl along there and you cover it. 
You don't cover it up. You don't polish it off. You don't find a way to get rid of the case. Because it's so corrupted and so wicked. And people like who make we know and come back to Jamaica. You, know. you think a criminal is afraid of? We're not afraid of criminal. We're not afraid of gunman. Gunman is if you look sitting. And who know we penalize the country and mess up the country. And who know? And who know should not go to prison? If only did go to prison, criminal will be themselves. But I mean, I realize where I go on. But who know? They be enough for the, the corruption we are going on. That criminal can get them gun through the war and all that type of something there. Because you, Bob's Green, you must remember where you come from, you know. You just look like a big respected woman now because people who never they know you just know you know. But remember where you come from, you used to out there in the street to fight, fight politics. Don't forget that. So you know how to write. Because I think you yeah, are minister, of, I think you yeah, are some um, minister of sports. I don't know sports that. Whether sports or not, or whatever, it was it. The occasion was, you never had a rifle throughout a Jamaican since. You never violence, you never fight, you never shoot no gun, it wasn't terrorist, it wasn't a threat to nobody. So what you do, they saw, is wrong, rude, and out of order. You think you'll get a clap for it? You think the Queen will clap you? You think you'll think get a clap for it? You think you'll get strife for it? You think you'll get something for it? Then they say, look upon we, then they say, look upon we. Oh, we are the immediate. No, the Queen. The royal people who come to Jamaica and we over England never even know nothing. We hear a long time in the Jamaica we hear it from. Right? We hear from Jamaica, say the Queen, say the royal. No, at Jamaica we are getting news from you know. So the people that come out there, you know. You know, publish over here. We don't know about it. But we hear. It published to Uno. Not to be over here. England no call Jamaica name, you know. They don't talk about Jamaica, they don't talk about no Caribbean. They have them things to deal with. International things they deal with. Jamaican name no mention for no station for nothing over here. And yes, unless, unless you sent Bolt come here, let me tell you that. And Ongo went and you sent Bolt come out England and said Mr. Bolt is here and they might have put him on the breakfast, um, BBC breakfast, um, morning or whatever, for have an interview and ask him questions. Nobody not recognize him. England definitely not recognize him. What do I do? For the children them in Jamaica. We want to go to New Kingston when they go and go look some visa. Can the children go there to look some visa if you come to England just to do a little studies? A two-year course or something. When they don't get it. They don't do nothing for Uno. So you see there are jackass where they call the Queen Jackass. And the next one where they represent the Queen over here. My money I pay, you know. I'll tell you that. Because I pull me at work. And as long as life lasts, you know where I go? I pull me and go spend because I put it in already. I put it in, I put it in, I put it in, I put it in, I put it in already. So that me I go work. You see, nothing I don't know where I come, come chat up on the mouth and I don't know, I don't know, I don't go say. So what are you doing in a queen country then? Of course, me there, because they not diss me. They not throw me out. I not diss them. They not have thin skin like Uno. They not come, come look for me. They not send out nobody for me because I'm not threatening them. We can't cost them, you know, if we want. We can't cost anybody. But nobody can't cost in Jamaica. Just to come out and talk with the police and so no so no give me a hard time because I have thin skin, nobody can talk nothing about you, know, you know. Nobody talk anything about you, know. they might go pay for it because so no stay. No, you Bob's the green. If you could have find me, you'd have sent for me, but you can't. You can't. I never threaten you. But just tell you, you're a damn dickhead and you're a damn idiot. Well send for me for that if you want to. But you're a idiot. You're a damn ass and you're a jackass as well. Yeah, you can't send for me, you can't me you can't me piss all, piss off. No, you put out L.A. Lewis. For what? Is he a terrorist? You would have to them people. Eh? You think them people will give credit for it and say, oh, at least you get one, at least you get one, one molester half of us. L.A. Lewis is a comedian and he take off for the Queen and everything is him post up for the Queen. He has to protect, he has to back himself to the Queen because he feels him a royal. Same as a comedian. Because he's a black man. So everybody knows say he means that no queen whatever and queen whatever. But him big up the queen, which is enough respect. And the queen, I love him for that. And who say I love the queen, we I love him for that. But no, he might come there now, we need to we need to come here and type ourselves now. And guess what I do? We don't get him out of the place. Because we're frightened. We don't frighten, you know. We don't frighten. We don't look down upon the one people and listen to one people. We don't know do nothing for the people, you know. We don't help the people. We don't want to beat them and beat them out and kick them out and throw them out and box them up and kick them up. That's not going to England. Queen do that. 
England now do that, so why you not have to do that? Because you're arrogant. You're arrogant and violent and wicked and cold hearted to your own people, to your own self. If people are in a society, in a certain, certain part of society, they can't talk to you. Now. The local people they can't talk to you unless it's election time. Because you're arrogant and you see yourself better than, better than the people who live in a local community. But then I said, work in England, thank God for that. Nobody in this country is no bigger than better than nobody. No matter if you are sick on the street, it's just one person. And this is should I say one blood. Jamaica say one blood, but they may know it. And yes, it goes, sir. Because in Jamaica, a certain class you have to get respect. Over here, you have forgotten a class to get respect. Manners and respect go to the dog over here, especially to dog and disabled people. Manners and respect go to certain people who come from certain places. But in a certain work, you don't need to go know nothing. But what you do, Bob's Green, is rude and out of order and racist and prejudice. You're not getting nothing for it. You need to piss off and go know yourself and go away. This is the end of another video. Let me know what you guys think about what he said in the comment section. If you are new to the channel and you have not yet hit the subscribe button, after you hit the like button and the share button, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button now. Go on and hit the notification bell too. And you will know whenever I go live or whenever I upload a video. Thanks for watching and stay safe.